Welcome to the 50th annual Raymond James Gasparilla Festival of the Arts in our new location at Julian B. Lane Riverfront Park. I'm John Shuffle. I'm the president of the board of directors. In reviewing past years, we discovered a small percentage of our artists were local. So we took on an initiative this year to increase the number of local artists because we feel that's important for the Tampa Bay community. I'm Sanjay Malik. I'm part of the local artist spotlight. We use layers of silk embedded in acrylic to create our art. It takes a long time, it's very labor intensive. During the day, if you look at the painting, they look like met metallic paintings. And in the evening, with backlighting, they look like glass. My name is Alan Boatwright, and I am here in the local artist spotlight. My artwork looks like robots. You look and you see robots. And for some people, that's enough. But my art is very subjective but it also is very meaningful. So there's hidden things on the painting. I am Erin Conley. I am a co-chair for the Gasparilla Festival of the Arts. I grew up going to art festivals as a kid, and to be a part of this festival has been very meaningful to me. And I really find the art community fascinating, so I love really being part of this as a co-chair. My name is Marlena Rose, and I've been involved on and off with the festival for about 10 years. My artwork is sand cast glass, so what that is is I basically pour molten 2,000 degree glass into a sand mold. The technique where I pour the molten glass into sand sticks to the artwork, which gives it this ancient quality. One of the many reasons why I love doing this show is that I am a local artist. I have a gallery in downtown Clearwater, so this is a way for me to get out and let the people of Tampa Bay know that I exist and I'm in Clearwater. My name is Jennifer Kozlowski. I'm one of the co-chairs for the 2020 festival. Julian B. Lane Park is so beautiful in itself that to showcase the work in this setting just makes the art look that much better. My name is Daniel Lai. This is my second time here. I am in the uh, 3D mixed media category, uh, so which means I use more than one type of materials to make my art. So the predominant material that I use are discarded books, books that people have thrown away. I give them a second life by giving them a new life, transforming them into sculptures. And then the second medium I use is clay. I make these clay figures that inhabit in this sculptural environment that is made out of books. I'm Jeff Ecker. I've been in Tampa Bay now about 24 years, and my medium is pencil drawings. For my medium, which might differentiate me from other pencil drawing artists, I work in photorealism. Being a local artist, uh, a couple things that are terrific about that. The first thing is um, the expense of not having to travel, and uh, the second reason it's so terrific is you do build a following. You have your people that come back every year, and they will look for your booth space or look your look your name up on the map. My name is Matthew Gardner and I am the 2020 recipient of the Gasparel Festival of the Arts Collegiate Scholarship. I'm very honored and very grateful to be a recipient of the award. I'm a local artist and it is important to me because I paint people that have a unique relationship to Florida, especially to the Tampa area. I'm Lisa Hatcher and I'm a surrealist and I do um, narrative work primarily and I'm a photographer. Being a local artist, it's really amazing to have Gasparilla in my backyard. Um, what it does for me is when I'm able to put information out for people, they can come in and see me right in my backyard and if I have to bring something in or deliver something, it's local to me. 
My name is Patrick Dragon, and um, I'm a ceramic artist in the area. I'm in Lakeland. I find it kind of interesting that I've been making pots for 40 years, and I'm still excited about doing it. I have a lot of friends locally that do the show, so it's fun to have that circle of friends that are here, and we get together and compare notes. I'm Nathan Miller, and this is my second year doing the Gasparilla Festival of the Arts. I'm an acrylic painter, and I paint people and animals. Sometimes I paint them both together, and it's very detailed realism. It takes a lot of time. I'm a local artist uh, from St. Pete, so Tampa is super close. It's only a 30-minute drive. It's good to get my art out there in the local community, and I'm hoping that more and more people will discover what I do. My name's John Williams, and I'm a, a wood turner here in Tampa, Florida. Now, the one thing that I do that is very unique, I coat everything with a two-part marine grade epoxy. And my vases are coated inside and out so that you could actually put water and flowers in them. So it's kind of functional art. And then I also make wood sinks, and, uh, which is very unusual. I am a local wood turner, and uh, it's, it's just great to be in the Gasparilla because I meet a lot of local people and they see my work and they get excited. I guess a couple things come out of it. Sometimes I sell some work because of it, but sometimes people are taking down trees, which I need, and they'll have me come out to get their trees. My name is Megan Farrell Scalise, and my painting this year was selected for Festival Image. My medium of choice is painting. I use acrylics and oils. My painting, the artwork behind it is based on leaving your everyday work week behind and uh, jumping into the colorful world of Gasparilla. Tommy McDonald. I'm a co-chair of the Festival Planning Committee. At the end of the day, we held our annual Arts and Drafts Award Ceremony, which was a celebration of a successful day at the festival and emotional for everybody involved. My name is Paul Galloway. I'm the Architecture and Design Collection Specialist for the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Any festival that makes a, a great interest and a kind of push to incorporate the local art scene is going to be seeding itself for a great success. I have to say, I've, I've been extremely impressed uh, with what I've seen here in Tampa. I'm Dennis Peterson. My medium is wood. I'm new to the festival. This is my first year, and I won Best of Show. When they called my name for Best of Show, I thought they made a mistake. My wife said, "For uh, Dennis, you've been doing this for 30 years. It's about time. <laughs>